four and a half years locked. I continue to do my own lock maintenance. I am a DIY lock girl. <laughs> What is good guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Tracy Lee and my channel is about locks, lifestyle and inspiration. Guys, I've come today to share with you my lock update and we are due for a retwist. So that's what we're doing now. We started on our no clip retwist. We are securing them with the two strand twist method to hold in the roots. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. But this is for those of you guys who are manning your own locks. You are DIYers when it comes to your locks. And you don't have a loctician, you're just starting out and you wanna know easier ways or have options when it comes to retwisting your hair where you don't have to necessarily retwist using clips. Clips can be very painful. So this is what we got done so far. You guys can see I got a whole lot of new growth up here. I just bundled this hair up up on top because we are cleaning up the parts as we go and the tools that we are using we have uh, purified water here in my spray bottle with some aloe vera no fillers just straight aloe vera gel and pumpkin seed oil so that's what we're using we are not saturating we are lightly spritzing it retwisting and securing the ends with a rubber band so we're using these Okay, just to secure the end of our retwist. I'm gonna do a couple for you guys and then we're gonna go ahead and speed it up and you guys can see what it looks like when it's done. All right, so let me just go ahead and let you guys see what I do. A lot of this I'm finger parting because my parts are for the most part still there, but I do have my rat tail comb if I need to clean up any parts and I have my Boris bristle brush because I love brushing my roots. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my lock brushing short, but your girl brushes her locks and her roots because she keeps it lint free. And also it helps to get your locks a little bit more thicker. Okay, so you guys can do your research on that, but we're gonna go ahead and speed this up and get started. <laughs> palm rolling you know and to each their own i'm not a palm roller i i don't believe in putting more tension on your roots than necessary so i do not palm roll my locks at all i just retwist the roots and then i two strand twist it going down like so and then we just secure it we just secure the end of it with a with a rubber band that holds the two strand twist in place. This is what it looks like. There's so many more to go. Just a fun fact, guys, for you guys who mix your own oils and waters, rose waters and stuff like that. We know oil and water don't mix, right? Well, mine does. So I'm gonna tell you guys how I did this. And I also have an essential oil and it smells incredible. I'm using lemongrass and I'm using a mint. And it smells really good. It feels really tingly on my scalp. 
and it just makes my scalp feel extra clean and my locks smell extra fresh. I'm using my aloe vera gel and it's really good because it is straight aloe vera, no fillers. So that's what your girl uses to retwist just the roots guys our two strand twist going down and that secures the the retwist on the root and it also you know gives you a couple of styles so with them in you have your two strand twist and with them out you have a really nice crinkly lock style and it looks really really nice um, so here's another one and guys this combination that i have causes absolutely no build up let's get back to the oil and waters if you are mixing your own concoctions like i am you know and we know oil and water don't mix get you some sunflower lecithin i love sunflower lecithin because it binds oil and waters together when you're making your products it will bind the water and the oil together and so you don't have to sit there and constantly keep shaking shaking now i do that because, I mean, it's just a habit. For but, the most part, my oil and water mixture with my essential oils, it is combined because I use the sunflower lecithin in that. There you have it. That's how you keep it good and mixed and combined. You see, I haven't shaken it. It's and still it's mixed up, guys. It's still combined. And again, when I use this time, normally I use the rose water, but this time I use purified water, pumpkin seed oil, and aloe vera. And I have all of that in here. And I'm also putting a little aloe vera on, on my roots prior to tightening them up. So normally after I wash my locks, I will put in product, my oils, my moisturizer, which is the rose water. And I will use my Boris bristle brush to distribute the product by gently brushing through my roots and my locks to get it evenly distributed. So that is something that I do faithfully when I wash my locks. Now, I'm not always retwisting after a wash, but I'm definitely always moisturizing and I moisturize in between washes as well as retwists. And it keeps my hair really, really moisturized. See, it does not matter how mature your locks get, there's still a little shrinkage that comes when you are doing your retwist, unless you are doing a method that allows you to stretch them definitely, out. There's definitely some shrinkage that comes with. So you can compare the retwisted with the unretwisted. And you see the little bit of shrinkage we have? Quite a bit, and it's something that I'm using this one as an example because it's one of my little baby double heads. Yeah, you get a little shrinkage, so, you know, fret not. It just comes with the territory of being natural. If you natural, you, you gonna have some shrinkage, okay? There's gonna be some shrinkage. So hopefully it doesn't sound too crazy because I had my mic unhooked, but we're gonna continue. You guys can see all of this new growth. It is so much, so much new growth. I also, let me just show you guys this as well. Put you on game when it comes to my lock tools. Because if you guys have been following me, you know that I've had this issue my entire lock journey. Some of my locks in the, up here in the crown area, the hair grows outside of the lock. And so we got us a couple of tools. To on the root area, there's some hair outside of you see this? So I'll just go ahead and crochet it in. Lock tools are also great for thinning locks. So if you have locks that where your roots are really, really thin, you can actually take that lock, and I'm just gonna use this one as an example. You can actually take that lock, right? This will be the thinning part. Now this one is not thinning, but I just wanna just use this to be able to show you guys. You can take this and you can crochet the thinning part onto the more secure part, and that's how you can fix your lock. If so I this would definitely be a road that I would need to work on the part, because this part is still there, but it just looks a little bit crazy, you know? back when I've done this because it's a lot of work it's a lot 
of work. So I'm gonna come back, guys, once I've completed my full retwist. And once I secure a decent spot in my house where the lighting is good and I have mirrors, I'll be able to show you guys start to finish what it's like retwisting my hair because let me just tell you guys it is it's a job it's work three hours later can you move it along i'm all out of time cards we got a neat retwisted head of locks no clips that's the best part about this retwisting this way no clips and i did not have to use my lock tools this time but this is what we got guys parts are all cleaned up going to air dry for a couple of days and normally what I do I just pull it up if I'm going out I'll wear it like that but while I'm in the house I will be putting on my bonnet okay I like to keep my bonnet on that's just me it's a habit and um, I make sure that I keep my locks covered as much as possible so there you have it I am four and a half years locked I continue to do my own lock maintenance I am a DIY lock girl again I want to encourage those of you guys who think that it's going to be challenging to take care of your own locks I've been doing it now for four years and six months and um, my locks are thriving okay. I have incorporated pumpkin seed oil I think it's incredible not just for your hair but for your skin it's really really soft and moisturizing for the skin so I just use that pumpkin seed oil all over I now retwist with a little bit of aloe vera gel straight gel no fillers I don't like fillers on anything from what I use in my hair down to what I put on my skin all the way down to the supplements that I take which is why I make my own supplements we want to make sure we get in the the actual herbs, the actual roots, the actual plant matter, and not a whole bunch of fillers and a little bit of the beneficial supplements. I've never really shared a mission with you guys, but my mission is to encourage as many lock kings and queens as I can to be proactive in your lock journey. Learn how to take care of your own hair. Learn your hair, what it likes, what it doesn't like. It does not take a whole lot of product to maintain locks, and I know everybody's different. I'm not a product junkie some of you guys are and a lot of that stuff is just not necessary okay a lot of it is not necessary this entire journey I've used rose water I've used vitamin E oil I've used spring water from the source EVOO um, and I've also been using on my wash days I have a oil that I have infused with fenugreek so fenugreek is really really good for thinning hair if you're looking for thicker hair, I use the fenugreek mainly around my edges. My hair is a little bit more thinner on the edges than it is in the rest of my hair. I have really thick hair. So fenugreek is really, really good to thicken your roots and also for hair growth. Pretty much that's all I'm using outside of my essential oils. And I'm also doing tea rinses in my hair. And I'm going to come and share more about that with you guys on the next lock update. And this is how I'm going to keep my hair again for a while. And when I take it out, it'll still be a fresh do because my roots are secured by the two strand twist. I hope that this video was beneficial to somebody. I, I love that I'm able to do my own locks, maintain my own hair. The retwist can be time consuming, but listen, I take my time and I do it and I get the job done. Give this video a great big thumbs up, guys. The algorithm loves that. Let's engage in the comment section. How often are you retwisting your locks? Are you retwisting them yourself? How far along in the journey are you? What products are you using? Let's have a conversation. I'm interested in knowing your regimen. Hey guys, make sure you share this video with somebody you know that is on a lock journey, can't afford a lock tissue, or I just made the decision that I'm going to DIY my lock maintenance, my lock journey on my own. And if you're not a part of the Lock Muse family, smash that subscribe button because we're going to be coming back and showing you some more tips as it relates to DIYing your own lock maintenance. I'm going to see your beautiful faces in the next video.